New at five, just two months into their first semester as an independent school system, Orange Beach City Schools already pre uh, preparing for expansion. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live in Baldwin County tonight. Corey, this is a multi-year plan to make sure they're ready for the area's rapid growth. Well, Kim, Greg, Orange Beach City School officials plan to invest millions of dollars in expansion projects on all three campuses. The work is just getting started for Orange Beach City Schools, which hit the ground running in May, breaking away from the Baldwin County Public School System, and in August opened its doors to around 1,200 students for the first time as an independent school system. There had already were plans to do an extension at the elementary school, and that's around $6 million. So uh, we assumed that contract, uh, that work is underway at the elementary school, so that's like phase one. Robert Stewart, Orange Beach School Board President, says plans are in place for a multi-year, nearly $40 million expansion project, phase two of which will involve a school-owned facility currently housing city firefighters and will be available again once the new Canal Road Fire Station opens next year. We will go in and clear all the existing buildings that are there. Uh, the plans there are to build uh, an indoor training facility, uh, a competition gym, and our new central office. Stewart says phase three will be the construction of a brand new football stadium on the high school campus property, where they also expect to add additional classrooms at some point when needed as the area and student population continues to grow. Since we announced that, we're, that we were breaking away, the growth has been tremendous. A lot of people are excited about moving here and being a part of Orange Beach City Schools. Stewart says they have six buses right now, but will need to buy more. He expects that to happen by the end of the year or next year. The hope is to have all of these projects completed within the next five to six years. Reporting live in Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.